In this tutorial, we're going to be going together through how to model a cup of tea. So without further ado, let's dive in. So as you see here, I'm going to drop my full smash. Let's start with the circle. Um, tap, tap. So I'm going to press A to select everything, then Control F to get fill. So uh, let's apply a couple of subdivisions here. Go to top view here and uh, try to match the segments. Let's put that on zero and keep the simple blending on. Minus three. It doesn't matter, we're gonna select the face mode, press A to select the whole object. Now press I to insert the uh, faces here. And now we're gonna need to select the border by pressing Shift 10 Alt. Let's do it once more here. Go to front view now and press extrude. Okay, so now press G and Z and move on Z axis. Now we're gonna need to scale that up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scale it up a bit more here and press extrude from your uh, keyboard. Press E to extrude the uh, faces. Now right click G and Z. And let's go ahead and try to press S here, scale that down. Now, extrude once more. Again, right click G and Z. And we're gonna go uh, pressing S to scale that object up a bit. Now, extrude once more. Now, I'm gonna right click here, extrude, right click G and Z, the same technique as to increase the size. Now don't worry, we're gonna smooth the object in a bit. So uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using a technique here, which is the chamfer technique. So let's scale it up a bit more here. Amazing. So I'm gonna need to as well lift that up here once more and end up my extrude here by scaling that border a bit down here. Now pay attention to what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna select the edge mode. Let's left click here. I'm gonna select that edge loop here. Let's go uh, and zoom in. And pressing Ctrl B to bevel. Now let's keep it to that point here. We're gonna give that, let's see, six segments in my case. Right. Let's go for five. Amazing, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. Alt and uh, Shift here, let's zoom in. Or we could always go to wireframe mode here and select that loop, control B to apply the bevel function. To that point should be enough. And now once more, I'm gonna select that with Alt and Shift, control B. Amazing, now we need to smooth that here. So let's try to select these here by going to wireframe mode, selecting that edge loop. Okay, there seems to be two of them here. So that's G and Z. Now, the same technique here, we just scale that down. Control B. Let's decrease our segments here, two, three. And there we go. Okay, so what was the next step here to select these uh, borders? And I want to try to extrude them out. So extrude and press S from your keyboard to increase the size here. Now G and Z on Z axis. And now we select like these, uh, that loop here, sorry, control the bubble. And now I'm make sure that we have covered around that point here, should be enough. Amazing. So this is going to be perfect from, in my case, this is a, a Turkish uh, tea uh, cup. Okay, so, um, well, I need to cover that here as well. So I'm going to be going to top view by pressing 7. Let's select the face mode here. Now let's go ahead and I to insult once. Let's zoom in here and try to press I, insult. Once more, I'm going to adjust my loop here. Doesn't matter, actually, we have only need, we need to connect them or join them if, if you want to. So I'll select them here, pressing J to join. An arrow, okay. Once more, J to join. Or we could do that from the bottom here. 
by pressing J to join. Once more, J to join. And I'll select this here to join and this. Amazing. So we almost get to go. So let's. Uh, we have that loop here, which is not that nice. Uh, I'm gonna clean that up here by selecting the whole edge loop. And I'm gonna need to right click and dissolve the edge. Sorry, I'm gonna need to delete, dissolve the edge. There we go, so we have cleaned up the object. Now, the last, last thing you need to make sure to do here is to go to modifier and apply this sub surface. All right, so once you be enough here and I'll uh, select the whole uh, object by pressing, by clicking, pressing that shader smith option. We should get the ultimate smoothness. Now we need to make sure that you adjust that a bit more here and if you want to print that on 3D printer then you should have no problem. I like it. Actually it, it does work with drinking tea with that cup here. It doesn't have to be that hot tea. Alright, so this is a basic idea of how to create that cup of tea in Blender. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial about the cup modeling and I'll see you next time. Take care.